Aziza Hashim. Karibu sana kwenye studio. Oh god. <laughs> We've just arrived. Kazi, Tumefika. Kazi, Tumefika jamani. Lebo kumbe unakanga poa hivi. Wallahi. Jamani. Anifanyie co-host blast basi. Utafanya show ishinde wewe. And of course we have the queen. <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Pleasure Aziza. to meet you too. Let me let me ask you. Wakati unapoingiaga pale kwenye kipindi eh yeah. unaingiaga na mbwembwe kama msanii. Yeah. Yaani na fujo sana. Hakuna mbambamba. What is all this? What is all this vibe? Tell me about it. I think uh, for me, mm. kama vile jina inavyosema, if mm. you are the media messiah, mm. you have to you have to be a movement. Mm. When you come, you have to do things differently. Mm. Na unakuta sio tu usanii peke yake, tumezoea mm. mambo hii ikifikia kwa usanii kama kina diamond, mm. kina harmonize. Mm. Why don't we bring it in the 254? If mm. you're going to do it something, ifanye vizuri. So mimi wana kuja na dancers wangu mm. who are all paid by the way my own security guard mm. my own videographer mm. na team zima kabisa mm. ukitwitter show tunakuja yani naangusha show kabisa hivi azaza ametokea wapi aswa kwa sababu ghafla tu Aziza ametokea. Aziza hajatokea. Um jani yangu imekuwa very slow but steady kiukweli. Mm. I've been doing this for the last six years. So yes. kanimalize high school. Mm. I finished high school in 2016 na kuanzia straight from high school. Mm. I started working doing vitu tofauti tofauti. Um nikiangalia masuala ya marketing, nilikuwa intern for three years not at the same place though. Mm. Ile unaenda unatafuta hapa, unaenda unafanya event bure, unafanya kazi hii kazi hiyo and Mm. yani kitu tu ikufungukie mm. so tuseme tu recently ndo watu wamekuwa wanaona mazao ya kazi ambayo umekuwa unaifanya for quite a long time you are 24 na unaongea yes. ni kama umekuwa kwa hii maneno kwa miaka karibu kumi eh wala hii bila <laughs> 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 But you have done so well for yourself congratulations you. hapo kwa jina mm-hmm. media mzaya yeah na kwa kwa sasa kidogo mm-hmm. what exactly does it mean ni kama i think ini jina ambayo nilipatiwa na mtu ambaye alikuwa ana support mm-hmm. i wouldn't want, want to call someone a fan mm-hmm. they're just a supporter so mm-hmm. alikuja kwenye dm akaniambia how you carry yourself how you do things mm-hmm. you're doing things differently you're mm-hmm. like the blueprints so mm-hmm. i think you are the media messiah just like messi in soccer mm-hmm. bila watu wanamuitanga messi messiah so mm-hmm. and for me i used to be a footballer kitambo so oh, alikuwa really? like yeah nilikuwa ana za ball my tu watu wenyewe walikuwa na mimi high school wanashangaa <laughs> so <laughs> ilitokana <laughs> na kama hivyo <laughs> eh mimi mm. nikusho na ka kutokea wapi niambie unakuwa mtaani unajua yeah mimi ni demo mtaani nime grow up calif california calif records ni nini nini but bado mimi ni mswahili so unaweza tell kuna ka hint ka uswahili pale ka hint ka english lakini ugeto pia ina you know na monchoka hapo tu ndio hiyo imeanza kukuja sasa aziza i was reading somewhere wakati umeingia kampo and you were a straight a child yes my whole life I've Are been a straight me? A student. I was oh. quite an introvert by the way. Mm. I wanted to do medicine actually, mm-hmm. but not for myself, for mm. my dad. Did you actually start studying it? Uh, no, <laughs> I just didn't show up. Oh. Uko ndadaro. Sikufika, niliona ai kidogo siwezi angalia hizi vidonda, siwezi angalia. Siwezi hata angalia msia kiumia, tutalia mimi na wewe. Lakini ulikuwa umeitwa hiyo kampo. Nilikuwa nimeitwa for medicine. Did you get a straight A or a straight uh, A minus ama gani? I got a straight A. Wow. Yeah. So throughout my whole life straight A is national school doing the right thing following the right path but at the back of my mind nilikuwa najua napenda media personalities mm. and i love listening to radio mm. but think iweza kuisema kwa kuwa how do you tell people you went to a national school with mm. that nimekuja national school nataka kwenda kuwa media personality mm. or even a radio host or tv host mm. of some sorts wanakuona ni kama ai we oh, you are lost what yeah because to be honest mm. um atujatoka from ile mentality ya yeah, mm. you can be successful mm. as a dj you can be successful as a tv host mm. unaambiwaga we soma uende uwe daktari uende uwe lawyer uende mm. uwe engineer uende mm. uwe pilot yeah mm. let's talk about your voice Uh, is it true kwamba ulikuwa unaona aibu ukiwa grow up kwa sababu ya jinsi sauti yako ilivyo you know nzito yeah. iko commanding yeah. is it true yes mm. kiukweli nilikuwa naichukia mm. sana because unaona vile you're in primary or high school kulikuwa mm. na zile subliminal things that people say that aren't really yani mm. 
ni, ni kama matusi mtu ameiweka tasfida tasfida tu pale mm. so unapata uh, uh, my friends used to be like eh hey, uko na biz my yeah. aunt tells me sio ongea bez yako so i never used to want to talk nilikuwa mm. najaribu sana kuongea kama mtoto wa kike but haitoki unaumwa na cause kuzote moja kama kama vipi hebu hi guys so oh, welcome unanyonga <laughs> sauti <laughs> kabisa alafu uko inaniuma <laughs> my first radio auditions i think i didn't get the job because i wasn't being myself oh, nikuwa no. jaribu kubonga card mko inauma wewe so yeah. tembea ukija kabili ukafika uka, uka, ukajikubali sasa hiyo sauti nilipoanza kuwa news anchor mm. kuna a certain media house nilikuwa nafanyia kazi mm. the first media house that actually started paying me mm. kama unajua majani you will mm. know the media house i don't want to mention it because of conflict of interest mm. but nilikuwa nafanyia a certain media house whereby meetwa kwa show ina eight hosts mm. so my bosses were like okay ude mako na sauti sauti hivi kidogo hebu mm. wafanye screen test ya news mm. so mi unajua huka tie opportunity besides umekuwa unafanya kila kitu bure yeah. so i'm like okay fine let me try news anchoring so mm. ile watu kukuamini kwamba hii sauti yako inaweza ikawa kama ya news anchor ilinipa kidogo motisha okay aya really do i meet people who beat my energy <laughs> I think we should definitely be friends <laughs> at no, this point. So the other person I know is very energetic and she's my friend is mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rachel. Yeah. You <laughs> so you're giving me those vibes. I love her. Yes, she I actually know. taught me a lot I on know. radio. I know that. Yeah. yeah. So na kuangalia I'm like oh my god. Sasa Aziza, uka unasema kwamba wewe ulivomaliza high school immediately umeanza mambo ya kufuatilia, you know mambo ya media. Yaani kwani kwani msukumo ulikuwa nini? What is this? Yaani ulikuwa unaona wewe ukiingia hii ndio yenyewe sasa. Actually haikuwa idea yangu. So when I finished high school mm. immediately unaona wale watu ambao huwa wanakuja shuleni mm. and uh, ni kama mentorship mm. nini nini mm. then because nilikuwa a prefect in high school mm. I was one of the captains mm. so I was like hmm wewe unapenda kuongea ongea sana mm. can we take you twende tukafanye mentorship kwa mashule mm. so that was like my first job then mm. I kaniuliza what are you doing between Monday and Friday nikamwambia kuna kitu tunafanya so they taught me um, online marketing mm. so hii ilikuwa job yangu ya kwanza tulikuwa tunalipwa 10000 acha nikwambie I was born out of control. Yes. Baba 10,000 cash. <laughs> Imagine nimemaliza niko kwa mamangu sina any bills and someone is giving you 10,000 cash. Yeah. Hey. hey. Tukwa tunafika kwenye matatu tunaambia mtu wa matatu by the way mm. shika 1,000 give me change. Alafu una make sure umeshinda umuuliza hiyo change ya thao iko wapi? Ni yangu. <laughs> So media came about um, one week to reporting to a uh, university. Mm. So I'm like I can't do medicine but I don't know what else I want to do. Mm. So my mom was like um, why don't you try media? And I was like what what are mimi? People that I went to high school with what wanna suffer abroad to do big courses and everything so they'll take me as a failure. Mm. So my mom was like we're fine I mean to support. Mm. In case of anything if you feel like how to ipenda mm. during the first year just mm. let me know. Mm. But then during first year nika end up na ipenda then i sent in applications everyone when i after intern i go when i after internship for 3 months i go mm. so ikawa hivyo okay i'm actually sad and they think in media we are not smart <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sad by the way i'm i'm hot <laughs> i'm i'm so hot okay. i'm actually see ya fresh sana mm. anyway <laughs> Touch. but that means in media we have to now yeah. let people understand yeah. that truly it's, it's quite a lot siku unajua now when you do media mm. unakuja kuona you just don't wake up and start talking always it was that is the thing like extremely smart, that right? is the thing so that's why we need people like you who got eza so uka, eh, sisi waje tumekujua uko energy yes. tumekujua uko energy pale yes. tell us about your journey kuingia pale hey my lord nili hey. <laughs> audition <laughs> mara ya kwanza kwanza i think your video iko kwa youtube mm. where by imeandikwa two kids mm. audition for energetic mvps mm. <laughs> and i didn't get it i was so shy and then i had a friend of mine mwenye tulikuwa the same class with in uni mm. so tuka audition na mwambia we post kwenye page yako ili wa spot twitter kazi hakuna mtu ataona ilikuwa nime post mm. so i won't take the l so i auditioned in 2018 sikuweza kuingia mm-hmm. nika audition 2019 tena mm. i didn't even make it to the top 100 mm. then 2020 covid ikaja hakuwa na auditions mm. now finally 2021 rafiki yangu tuka audition yeye akaenda akaweka video yake mm. nikukumbushe kuwa 2018 2019 alikuwa ana post kwenye page yake so i'm like unaniruka wewe umesha post kwenye page yako mimi nita post wapi mm. ina ulazimu sasa i post it on my own page mm. so finally nika post and after trying for four years ndo nikaweza kuingia energy wakaniweka straight kwenye breakfast show for four years yes 
ni mwaka jana ndio umeanza kipindi pale 10 over 10. Yes, no? yes. And uh, ni kipindi ambacho kilikuwa kinafanywa na Willy Sobu, Kaburu. Yes. Yes. Yeah, na wakati ambapo we ni mdada yule alikuwa mwanaume. Mm. Watu walikuwa wanaona itakuwa ngumu sana kuviingia ama kuvitu kutoshea kwenye viatu vyake. Kweli kabisa. Eh, eh. Nataka uniambie ilikuwaje experience mm-hmm. yako ya kuweza kuingia kuchukua kipindi na mm-hmm. kukisongesha mbele. Uh, the experience was really good mm. na support ambayo niliipata ilikuwa quite amazing. Mm. Mimi ni mtu ambaye I'm a risk taker. Mm. So siogope kuchukua risks. Either way it could go either way kama vile nilikuwa nakushow. Mm. It could work, it could not, but either way si tulijaribu. Tuli so I took it as a challenge. Mm. Watu unajua normally I'm an introvert. Mm. Nikiwa siko on air, wasipendi sana kuzungumza niko tu nyumbani, mm. sitokitoki sana. I don't club. Mm. I think najua only two clubs, nishaingia only two clubs in Nairobi. Mm. So nilipo ingia turn over turn. Mm. Support ilikuwa amazing number one from Willis as well. Mm. Alipiga simu ile yenye you have what it takes usisikize maneno ya watu mm. you do your thing do it mm. like you mm. so siku yangalia ni kama i'm going to fit in shoes za mtu mwingine mm. mimi niangalia na kuja kuwaletea who aziza is mm. amumjui it's okay but mm. you will get to know me mm. as the show goes by and then unapata team ambayo nilipata pale was such a huge team mm. nimewaka different media houses before lakini unafika pale unakuta producers ni watatu directors mm. wawili mm. una stage manager kuna mm. sijui nani so it's a huge team ya watu ambao wanakuja pamoja na wako very young mm. very passionate kuku support mm. yeah tuongee kuhusiana na you know uh, vibe la mtandaoni yeah. eh, kwa sababu pale mtandaoni kuna watu wa kila aina kuna wale wanakuja mafans yeah. kuna wale wanaleta comparison na yeah. wanakuja na maneno ya you know ya kufanya saa zingine usisikie vizuri That's true. how do you deal with that Eh, mimi unajua kuna kuanga na time zenye. Mimi mimi nitakushow tu. Like ah. tutabonga tu. <laughs> But then at times mi mi uacha tu. Kuna zile ukiangalia unaona sio worth your attention. Mm. Na kuna zingine uko like I I will talk to you. Mimi ni mtoto wa Kiswahili. Mm. Tutasutana huko. <laughs> Cuz I don't most of the time cuz yeah. mimi wanna respond to all positive comments. Mm. Ukiingia kwenye maybe my Instagram, my Twitter, my um TikTok as well, mm. I respond to all the comments. Mm. Then any positive because mtu amechukua wakati wake kuku support. But pia kwenye negative sometimes nitakuacha lakini nikiona once in a while ni kama mm. unaona jibu huwezi pata. Mm. Wallahi nayo nayo kanuke sana nayo nayo wacha i'm nice but uh, ukinichokonoa eh. we shall go down that road <laughs> when you go lower i shall go to to hell <laughs> i shall dig it up <laughs> you unasema you 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 have been nominated actually pasi na kwamba unafanya corporate gigs yeah. Yeah. na umekuwa ukizipata you know yeah. naona pia umenominated by the way kwenye consumer awards yes Congratulations. actually ni multiple awards this year it's just february and i think mm. nimenominated kwa four different award shows mm. in and outside the country mm. yeah hii nakufanya unasikia namna gani wallahi mm. i tell my videographer who's also my best friend mm. sometimes huwa analia because mm. unajua wewe ni binadamu at the end of the day and i'm not going to stand here and pretend ni kama hizi vitu at now i don't feel a thing me mm. wallahi mimi nimetoka from the ground mm. up had to hustle last mm. year was a very tough year for me mm. nilikuwa analia sana ile unaomba mungu for certain opportunities mm. and um mwaka i mean mungu ame sema ni mwaka wa kufosi yani utake usitake hey! hello sanita bosi swahili wa kutosha mwaka jana ulikuwa mgumu kwa nini what was going on i was going through a lot mm. unajua you make mistakes mm. uh, as a young person mm. na pia um in anything ambayo kuna mapenzi nayo especially mm. in your career so i think last year ilikuwa na a lot of lessons mm. nilikuwa na experience the highest moments lakini in between hizo high moments pia kulikuwa na a lot of low points mm. whereby you don't negotiate for yourself when it comes to gigs mm. ama unaenda vitu kipole kipole pole unaamini kila mtu mtu anakutoka do mm na mtu mnakutana naye every single day so you don't understand some of these things so mm. having to learn how to do contracts and engage with a lawyer mm. so that mtu asikutoke pesa mm. maybe you negotiated certain things when you uko unafaa ku negotiate mm. and even when i was experiencing my biggest win on tv hiyo mm. period ya transition mm. doing kupigaga character development unaitisha gigs watu wanakuambia uko tv so ni value gani unatupatia and mind you i quit both tv and radio mm. and you can't tell someone go journey to on the 2nd of october <laughs> na ingi and uh, you know mm. and sometimes even as you get your biggest wins mm. you don't know that uh, pia ukiwa at the top or say really don't care yet mm. So this year ndo nimepata zile events nilikuwa nataka kupata mm. financially ups and downs pia because you, you make certain mistakes mm. as a young person mm. unakuja unanua ma wig manini 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 mm. yeah, like kifika mshoe uko like wow 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 my lord 
tutadu what sasa so it was it was na mimi siogopange kusema because at the end of the day we are only human kan lianza kwa bedsita watu wa tiktok wanajua nili snap nikiwa kwa bedsita nika snap niliingia one bedroom nikihama pia mtaona sasa hii na panda nduthi kinua gari you shall see it all right why are you so authentic unajua watu wengi wanapokuwa katika sehemu kama hizi na tumeona sana hii kisumbua watu wengi hasa watu maarufu yeah ukipata jina kidogo unataka kuonesha watu maisha fulani maisha fulani ambao huna Yeah. Why is it so important for you uoneshe uhalisia wa mambo? Inakupatia tu pressure unnecessary. Na mm. me one thing I'm a happy go lucky person. So sipendi hizo unnecessary pressure. Mm. And I will go on TikTok live na mtaniona nikiwa kwa nduthi kama nimechukua nduthi. Kiukweli I don't have a car right now. Mm. So kuna haja gani ni snap kwa gari yenye sina. Siku ya event ni ta show out. Siku ya event <laughs> ju client amelipia nime accommodate kwa budget. There'll be a car, there'll be this and this and this and this. Mm. Alafu yengine ni profit. But hizi mm. siku zingine mimi mm. nimetoka mimi nimetoka ghetto mm. like i know what it means not to have mm. and i've seen it even when it comes to my parents and uh jinsi walivyofanya mambo yao so sina sasa sasa na impress nani mm. mtu hata sijui you mm. don't even know me so kama watu wa kwetu wananipenda that's what that matters nimekusikia kwa wale ukisema kwamba wewe hutumii hivi leo yes ushawahi kutumia ushawahi kunywa pombe ushawahi pia shisha vitu kama vile situmi vile ovyo vyote wala sijawaeonja yeah kwa sababu gani labda um out of choice too mm. like i just don't i i join in nice mm. and naturally i have a lot of energy so i don't see the reason <laughs> to engage i love it mimi <laughs> nikiingia tu hapo bora nimekula ugali yangu vizuri na niko na energy drink i shall dance with my heels for the whole night and i'm good to go all right yeah and it was this when to talk islam No comment. Ah! Mimi ni mtu ambaye namuamini Mwenyezi Mungu, Mungu ni mmoja. Jamani. Yes. Subhanallah. Namuamini Mwenyezi Mungu kila kitu yangu na dedicate kwa Mwenyezi Mungu mm. na naamini kila baraka inayokuja kwenye maisha yangu inatoka kwenye mye, kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Hiyo ndio imani yangu. Mambo mengine kiukweli mm. dini is very personal. Mimi okay. sio spiritual, mm. I'm religious. Where I stand Yo sasa mm. mimi na mnyezi mungu, mungu wangu yes tunakuona kwenye tv sasa hivi yes. Kuna, do you have plan to get back on radio yes yes, yes. yes. all right radio is my first love yani mm. kama vile ninavyokuwa hapa na wewe na feel mm. a certain kuna two vibe flani mm. ambayo ninatamani na like i swear mm. naipenda sana mm. i remember nilifukua nafanya na a certain mobile phone brand don lianza kusikiza mm. so i develop that interest and your energy mm. so you're one of the people who actually influenced me Aww. ikifikia kwenye radio Thank just you. to naturally be yourself mm. yeah mm. so kuna plans very soon mtaona we'll guys we will be here to cheer you on malai yes. <laughs> sema hii inaja konayo hey. ana mtu kweli kwani mtu atakimbizwa na energy kwa sababu hata kuna wengine hapo hapo kwa kwenye hey. facebook yangu hey, mwish yeah. ana mmoja anaitwa danga sema eh hey, wapi tutakuwa na mtu kweli <laughs> Watu kwa hivyo kuwa na mtu kwani? Kwani watu wananchukuliaje swali? Eh? niko na watu wanne kwa studio kwa sasa unavoangalia. Eh, licha ya hayo, bado baby girl iko nakas. But then asante sana for the love and I appreciate. Uh, Unanipata kila mahali Instagram, Twitter, um ama mnaita X squeezy. Mm. I don't I don't understand. Mm. <laughs> TikTok zote Aziza underscore H that's A Z E E Z A H underscore H. All right. Yeah. So are you DJing for us today? Munite show special. Ah, Nakuja nishaisema uh, uh, 212. Two. Well lakini like, unataka nikuoe wallahi. Hizi ngoma unasicheza hapa. <laughs> Eh yeah. anataka ni muwe sasa hizi ni nini anacheza ngoma zote napenda Mwende kwa nini unitakii? Elevate the progress. Alafu paka DJ kwa Mswahili. Imagine. Na DJ yupo yupo tayari kuolewa. Fine boy no ex. Shakit thing. Eh 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 utatwitisha 1000 dollars bro. For interview one time. Eh? Ah ya mimi 1000 dollars niweke na kuja ku mix ya Urban Tone set full mix niki hype. Leo leo mask ngine. Eh? Another day mask ngine. Okay. Mm. We will for sure call you. Most definitely. Mimi niko right. ready. Tell uh, bye bye to your friends. Best to kiondoka. Anki go shimi shall show you guys. Aki walai. Nilikuwa nilikuwa naoja tukae kae. Nilikuwa naoja hata chai, you know. Kaugali ugali hivi. 
Mi wallahi napenda kula. Yo nani yenye situmiangi yote na nanga for food. But anyway, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. I am so honored yes. and I'm so so grateful. Kwa kila mtu ambaye alikuwa anasikiza asanteni sana sana sana. Keep it here mwende na Clemo kila siku. And you know the vibes kabisa. Mimi unanipata penye unanipata nisha kushow Friday kifika. Uh, social media nishawaambia you mm. aziza underscore h that's mm. aza double eza h underscore h mm. kwenye mtandao wa television pale mm. every single friday your super dj super host super mc every single thing mnanipata pale mkitaka kuni book muni book pale kwa instagram sina pesa mni taftie pesa at least ni gari thanks <laughs>